Free TV on your phone sounds like a dream come true, right? Can a device about the size of a wireless mouse deliver? I'm CE Tech Dude, and this is the Zumi Magic TV. The Zumi Magic TV is a tiny over-there receiver that connects wirelessly to your iPhone or Android device. The Magic TV costs just $49 and I found it only at Walmart. If it sounds pretty neat, that's because it is. The Magic TV works great when you can get a signal. And it includes two types of antennas, one being internal that extends out of the body of the device and one external antenna. The external antenna is meant to give you better wireless range if you need it. Setting up the Magic TV is pretty simple. Download the Magic TV app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. Just power on the device by holding down the button on the front for about two seconds until the blue lights stop flashing. And then open up the Magic TV app that you installed on your phone earlier. And the app will ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi SSID that the little guy broadcasts. Once you connect to that SSID, which is named Zumi-something, the app will ask you to scan for channels, which will take about five to 10 minutes. And then you have to sit back and hope that it finds some channels. And this is where the catch is. This device will only work if you have a strong over the air signal where you are, which can lead to a little bit of frustration. And I'll tell you why. If the internal antenna fails to find any channels, you can hook up the external antenna by plugging it in to the USB port on the back and the antenna connector on the back as well. And then move the switch on the bottom of the Zumi Magic TV to the external antenna icon. You will then have to rescan for channels after you change to the external antenna setting. The external antenna is magnetic and can be attached to metal devices to further increase the signal strength that it receives. As I mentioned, signal strength will vary. I tried it at my house and I couldn't find any channels either inside or outside, but I do live pretty far away from the over the air source, which is about 40 miles away. At my office, which is much closer to the source, I was able to find one channel inside with the internal antenna and a whopping 28 channels with the external antenna attached. Now as a side note, just because you find channels doesn't mean they'll work. I tried several channels that it found and it told me the signal strength was too weak, so it's a your mileage may vary on success. Once you do find channels and are able to tune in, things start working much better. The Zumi Magic TV will support HD video if the channel supports it, and it looks great. If the channel only supports standard definition content, you can stretch to 16 by nine to fill your phone's screen. The Magic TV app does take a little bit of time switching between channels. And if you click too much, I have had the app crash on me. And once that happens, it's a little bit of a pain to get reconnected. You have to open that back up, reconnect to the SSID. But this only happened one or two times. It wasn't a major deal. Battery life on this little guy claims to be about five hours of streaming TV. But it will be less if you use this device as a USB power bank, which you can do using the USB out port on the back of the device, which is a pretty neat little feature if I say so myself. The Magic TV uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to connect back to your phone and it's recommended to leave it near a window or close to a window if you can, if you're using it indoors. And if you move the Magic TV far from where it originally was, it's recommended to rescan the channels after you do move. Now guys, I think the main reason for owning this device is if you travel a lot, if, or maybe if you're going camping, or you'd like to watch TV if your phone has limited cell phone service, or you don't want to use your cell phone's data, but this will not replace your home TV watching. Overall, I think this product is pretty cool, and I would recommend it if you know its limitations. It really depends on the signal strength of your area and your channel lineup for the area to be useful. But the product does come with a sticker on the front that says that you need to have a strong signal, so kudos to Zumi for putting that on there, and you can also look up signal strength on their website, which is handy. All right, guys, this has been the Zumi Magic TV quick review. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you like the product, it should be in stock at most Walmarts. I will leave a link below so you can check stock at your Walmart. And guys, I appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, you've been CE Tech.
Have a great day.